Hello, everyone. Welcome to today's presentation. My name is David. I'm your English teacher. And today I'm going to prepare you for the Zoom call because okay, we have the Zoom calls in groups and we talk about this. Everyone's advanced and I teach English learners, advanced English learners, business English, but also, you know, general English. But it's mostly for, you know, students that already know English. You just want to take it to the next level. So we're going to talk about video CVs. Okay, so what is a CV? We also call it a resume or curriculum vitae, right? Vitae. Now, it comes from Latin, okay, curriculum vitae, but we say vitae, okay? Or just CV. That's the easiest way. All right, so let's, we're going to talk about employment. We're also going to talk about technology, video technology, trends in the workplace, kind of the changes and the future of uh, recruitment and employment. So if you need Business English, this is a perfect class for you. If you want to join the practice session where you talk, you know, where you exchange this information and talk about these topics, then let me know and you can join the, the class if you're listening to the podcast or whatever, whatever you're doing. All right. So the first thing, basic vocabulary, apply for a job. Okay, so that's the expression. I'm, uh, if I need a job, if I want a job, I apply for it. So when was the last time you applied for a job? Okay. And what was the interview process like? Okay, what was it like? That means how was it? Doesn't mean did you like it? It means what was it like? What was the interview process like? How was it? Was it difficult? Was it easy? What steps did you have to take in the interview process? Okay, so from the beginning to the end in class, I will want you to explain this. First of all, did you, where did you see the, the job posted? Did you see it? Did you connect through LinkedIn? Did you go to one of these websites where they post jobs? All right. So how did you connect them? Did you contact them by email? Did you meet them? Did you know someone already? Did they, you know, reach out to you? Okay. Did they recruit you or did you reach out to them? Did you apply for it? Okay. The other thing, how often do you update your CV? Okay, so update means, you know, add new things, change it, change the format, add more information. You know, how often do you update it? And why, why not? Okay, do you often do it? Now, some people say, well, I don't need to do it because I already have a job and all other people update it regularly. You know, maybe even if they have a job, you know, every six months. So like that, you can, or whenever you, you did something, whenever you get a new prize or get a new certificate, just add it directly into the CV. Okay. So a lot of different ideas, but I want you to uh, share that. Do you find it easy or difficult to write your CV? Okay. So a lot of people find it very difficult because, you know, they don't know the right formatting, the right words, you know, maybe... You know, if they need a CV in English, they need to make it sound very professional. So they need to embellish, embellish it. It's a great word. So everyone who speaks Italian or French or Spanish, you will like this because it comes from uh, bella or bel or bella in Spanish. It means beautiful. Okay, so when you embellish it, meaning you you write nice words write nice words for you, make it sound nicer. And the last thing is uh, talking to the camera. Are you comfortable talking to the camera? So I'm comfortable talking to the camera because I'm an online teacher and you know I'll just turn on my computer or get my phone for TikTok, Instagram, and just talk to the camera and be like, hey guys, how are you? Blah, 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 just explain things. Some people are not comfortable talking to the camera and uh, and then explain why you're comfortable or why you're not comfortable. Okay, so here we have some, um, you know, some some pictures. We'll discuss these uh, pictures. You'll kind of talk about what you see. You know, the, they're in a, in a traditional interview process right here, face to face. Okay, this guy right here is taking a selfie or talking to the camera in his office. You know, he's he's older. 
but he's very modern, right? He's probably filming a TikTok right there. And then you have all the all of these people waiting right here. They're waiting for probably for an interview. They have some paperwork here. They all look professional. And the last one is this person is preparing their uh, their CV, their curriculum vitae right here. And they're having a croissant and a, an espresso, right? So you're going to talk about these pictures, right? And if you're just listening to the podcast, then, you know, just focus on the 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 words that I'm saying, right? Okay, so here we have some vocabulary, okay? Now, there, you know, some of it might be a little bit basic for you, but... It's good to always use it and to know the different forms of it. Okay, so um, you know, a position. Okay, I'm. You can say people always say, "Oh, I want this job. I want to work," but you can also say, "A position. I'm applying for a position." All right. What's your position? Okay, so this is this is ni a nice way to to uh, to not always say job. Okay, so when you become advanced, an advanced speaker, we want to use a lot of different words, not just the same basic words. So position is that, okay? Trainee is a trainee is someone who is training, right? They are learning how to do the job. Awkward is when you're not comfortable in a social situation. Some people are awkward. Some situations are awkward where you're like, oh, I don't know, maybe this is not the right thing to say. Maybe... You know, you know, I just, it's not right. It doesn't feel right. It doesn't, it's uncomfortable. Genuine. Okay, genuine is uh, real. Okay, when uh, you're genuine, you, you definitely want to be real. An applicant is a person who is, who wants to do a certain job. So they apply for the job. They are an applicant. Okay, they, they fill out the, the application, they submit the application, they apply for it, and so they are an applicant. Okay, a script is something that you write, you know, something that you write, words that you write down, and that you will say in a, in a situation. So it can be on camera. In the case of video CVs, you know, you write down a script and then you read it, or it can be a, a speech. Right, you have you give a speech, so you have a script, something that you read to the uh, you know, for the people, but you always prepare for it, you know, beforehand. Okay, so to edit is to make changes, right? So you edit a video, you edit your your you know report, your writing, your book. Okay, so you make changes uh, to video or writing so that it is ready to be watched or read and natural, right? Okay. So uh, yeah, if someone is a natural, then they are good at something without having to try. Some people are naturals at talking to the camera. They're good performers, they're actors. They feel very comfortable in front of a group of people or showing their face on camera. Other people, you know, it's a little bit harder for them. All right, so here we have it's a great exercise where we change the word here. We use the word at the end of the sentence here, and we change the word as in we change the part of speech, okay, to fit the sentence. Okay, so for example, here we use position. So up position is a job, but in this case, we will use it as a verb. She positioned herself in front of the bookca bookcase so that the people interviewing her on Zoom would see how much she loved reading. Okay, that's to position yourself. Next one is a trainee, the person who is training. Next month, I will have completed my training. Right, training is a noun here. Okay, awkward. Okay, awkward is the adjective. She told them awkwardly, right? It's an adverb. She told them awkwardly that she was late for her interview because she had to go on the wrong train. Okay, good. She had got on the wrong train. Okay, so basically she said it awkwardly, meaning she wasn't comfortable saying it. Okay, the next one is genuine, right? Genuine, it means real. Um... Okay, 
So th this one is also an adverb. I wasn't sure if he would remember me, but he seemed genuinely pleased to see me. It took him a couple of hours to fill out the, we talked about this, application. So instead of applicant is a person, the application, to fill out the application, but it looked like a really great job. Next one is script. Okay, it's a, a script. It's the, the what you will read. Okay, during the presentation, the CEO made some scripted comments. Okay, so that's an adjective, scripted comments about the future of the company, which worried a lot of people. Okay, so the scripted comments, scripted presentation means he prepared what he said, right? It's scripted. Next one is edit. Okay. Now here is, you say to edit, but here we're going to use the noun. We made some edits to the video, which made it shorter and more interesting to watch. So you can edit a video or you can make some edits to the video. Okay. And last one is natural. You are a natural means you are, something comes naturally to you. She didn't enjoy talking on camera because it felt very unnatural, right? Having so many people look at her, looking at her. So she didn't, she felt there you use a prefix unnatural. Okay, good. So right here, okay, you're going to talk, you're going to use these words. Okay, what position do you see yourself in 10 years from now? Okay, talk about uh, when you started your job, did you work as a trainee? Okay, who is the most genuine person you know? Okay, uh, what advice would you give to an applicant for a job with your company? So advice for an applicant, let's say your friend is applying for, the, for a position in your company, what advice would you give them? Have you ever written or read a script? Okay, talk about that. What was it about? What situation was it, uh, you know, uh, what other things happened, right? And uh, how much time do you take to edit your English essays? Okay, or your English reports or your English emails, right? You write it, but then if you send it to clients or to potential clients or to anyone in a professional setting and you don't feel 100% comfortable with your writing skills, then you might need to edit your email, right? Or have someone edit it. Okay, so what, what kind of mistakes do you make? How much time do you need to edit it? Or maybe do you have someone who helps you edit, right? Okay, so I, I help some of, some, of, some of my clients to edit. So if you have a very important, you know, um, you know, email or report, or you know whatever memo that you need and you need to make to for it to be perfect i can help you with that you know uh, i can help you edit it i can help you make it sound extremely professional very very professional very top level okay so all right so here we have a conversation i'm going to send you the the you know the mp3 right the file so listen, listen to the the conversation. There's an it's an interview. We're also going to talk about you know owning a camera. So who has the camera, right? If someone has a studio. A studio is the place where you can film, right? People are going to write a script. Okay, people are going to edit the, edit the video. You know, some someone has a yoga. Someone practices yoga on Thursday. Who is going out on Friday night? So who's, you know, has plans to go out on Friday night and someone is going to buy coffee and cake. So make sure you listen to the audio, you know, there. Okay. And, uh, and then we also have a very nice article here. Okay. It's very short. We make it, we made it very short. It's adapted. Okay. It's an adapted article. Okay. But it talks about how nowadays, especially after the uh, the the pandemic, right? That, you know, some people say it's still going. Some people say that it's 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 over. You, who knows? But the pandemic, you know, it, it had a, an effect. Now, before a video calls or video lessons or video meetings might have been a little bit awkward. But 
then we got used to it and now it's normal. You know, I only teach online. Before I taught in person, I traveled to different companies and I, um, I gave classes face to face, you know, corporate classes to, you know, top level business, business people. But now I teach online, right? It's easy. It's more, it's, 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 it's the future, right? But so, but it took time, right? It was, took time to get used to that. And so because of this and because of all of these trends and, you know, TikTok and Instagram and selfies, and then now it's talking to the camera. So it's not just pictures, but now it's video where you speak to the camera. Now that this is, um, this is a trend. And so the employment and recruitment industry is you know, adapting, you know, and, uh, you know, some recruiters, some companies feel like it would be good for applicants to submit a video CV. So of course, maybe you also submit a paper CV, right? Or a PDF, but employers, companies want to see someone. They want to see someone speak. They want to see what they look like. They want to see what they sound like. They want to get a, a feeling if they're genuine or not. All right. And so this is why there some companies, the progressive companies, right? The traditional ones, you know, they're st they still want the paper CV, but the progressive companies, forward looking companies are saying, hey, no, send us your CV and a one minute video CV so that we can see you, hear you, and, uh, you know, kind of assess who you are with the video. Okay. So we're going to talk about that. Right. And, uh, and of course, a lot, there's a lot of discussion right now because some people are not natural. They're not naturals, right? Speaking to the camera doesn't come naturally. It's difficult for them. They're very self-conscious, right? And uh, some people, maybe they're better looking, right? So that can affect them, okay? And also some of these recruiters or human resource people, they uh, they can look at a CV in 10 seconds. Now, if they have to watch a one minute video, then that can take a lot more time, right? From them instead of just, you know, flip, looking at the CV. But we know that, some people can make a CV look really, really good and and make it sound really good and great, use great formatting and great words, but in reality, it doesn't mean anything, right? So this is a way for you know, candidates and applicants, you know, to get a, you know, yeah. So yeah, for them to show who they really are and for recruiters to understand them a little bit more and to not be, misled you know because it is a very um it is a very interesting situation here okay so a lot of exercises here i'm not gonna we're not gonna go through all of the exercises but you know i recommend that you read it and maybe do exercises six and seven you can do those by yourself if you want okay exercise six and seven exercise eight is a talking point so we will do this in the zoom class so you if you want to be prepared for class, you can prepare some answers or at least think about the answers so that when you speak to me or to your partner, to your business English partner in class, you know, in the in the breakout room, you can discuss this. So what do you think about this idea? Would you be comfortable, you know, creating a video CV? Why, why not? Do you think video CVs will be used for recruitment in the future in your country, in your industry, in your company. You now some companies and some countries, you know, are very forward looking. Like I'm I'm come from America. I'm I'm from Texas. In America, we're always, you know, we're always adapting. We're always evolving. Right. So you know say, oh right, let's try it. So let's let's innovate. Let's try to change it, you know. But I live in Europe, and in Europe, some countries and some companies and some people, not everyone, you know, but some, it's a little bit more conservative, maybe. They say, oh, we don't want to change too quickly. We like the traditional way, like the traditional 
hiring process, right? We don't we don't like to adapt too much to technology and to all these trends in the you know in the digital world, for example. Okay, but of course you can't. These are just uh, generalizations, and there are a lot of exceptions. There are some people in Europe that are a lot more progressive and a lot more technologically advanced than people in America, people in Asia, right? So, um, yeah, so so that those are just general generalities, but maybe they're wrong. Maybe they are wrong. Tell me what you think, okay? What would be difficult about creating a video CV? Do, what would you enjoy about creating a video CV? If you work in human resources, I have a few human resources people in my in my groups, you know, if that would this help you find the right employee, the right candidates, the right applicants? Okay. If you are, you know, so look at both sides from a company's, you know, a company, you know, will look at it differently than a person, right? So the applicant is that's one. Is that our video CV is good for applicants? Maybe some applicants, not everyone. And then talk, look at from the company's point of view. Okay. So what are the positives and negatives of using video CVs? Okay. And we're also going to, um, in class, we're going to talk about, you know, a, the script. So what are some things that you should say in your own video CV? So you'll prepare with your, with your partner a few, um, you know, a few things, you know, a few things that you would say about yourself. Okay, how will how will you introduce yourself? What will you say? What are the most important things? How are you going to structure it? And you know, why are you the best person to employ? Why should they employ you? All right. So here we have the transcripts of the of the you know um, conversation, right? So you're going to listen to you're going to get the audio file, and you're also going to get this at the end of the pdf you'll get the whole the whole transcript of the conversation okay so you'll get everything here okay so very nice professional conversation you can look through that and prepare for class and then here this is the key so these are the the, the answers to the questions now i wouldn't just look at the answers but try to do it first and then check the answers right so these are the answers to the questions Okay, and then the questions are, of course, in the first part. So, and you're going to get this PDF. If you're, if you're in the part of the program, you'll get the PDF, get the article, you'll get the transcript, you get the, the audio, so you can listen to practice your listening skills. And of course, you get to be part of the discussion of the live Zoom call. Okay, so. All right, everyone, I will see you in class, okay? Take care, everyone, and if you want to join the class, let me know.